Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is coming in for you, what is going on, what you need to know at this time, what does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? <coughs> Something is faded. Could be a partnership. There's a lot of passion. And you have learned this lesson. Past life love. Okay. okay. Playing hard, having fun is under the deck. Okay. So there is a faded opportunity coming in. It does look like it's love. It could be, you know, something else that you are excited to do, passionate about. What does Aries need to know at this time? You do have a bright future. Because I want to make it clear that for some of you, this might be a job opportunity or an investment or something that you can work on. And you may maybe last time something like this came around you didn't take action on it that's why i feel like the lesson maybe to take action to grab the opportunity to go for it to try it or possibly to um, take your time as you're getting into this take it slow if it's a person then uh, this is could be somebody brand new or someone coming back from the past but you will know like the connection instantly you know who this is or you'll know the feeling it's going to be really strong um, unspoken truths okay it says there are things I wish I had told you. Okay, so defenses could be up at this time as well. The person may have been defensive. So it could be that there is a past person coming back to you to tell you things that they never told you before. You've been through this more than once, I think, with this person. There's a strong connection. Oh, I just, let me see what you're doing. Yeah, Ace of Swords here, moving towards, okay. Definitely see, like, this may not be your first rodeo with this person or this type of situation. What is going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is going on for Aries? Someone may not want to see or they have to make a decision. Could be they want to start over or have a new beginning with you. Trying to decide if they should say this truth. It is under the deck. A lot of secrets I know is coming out around this uh, eclipse. A lot of secrets or truths being spoken so i'm not surprised to see this for you also aries that be an air sign or a fire sign like you but i think the knight of wands right there is them taking action i feel like this person wants to be happy i feel like they've held a lot in they've been they've been i don't want to say sad or disappointed because i don't have those cards here but maybe it's just that they're listening to their intuition. It's like they want to be happy or happier. They want to take action, speak their truth, tell you how they feel, possibly even an apology. Sometimes page your coin is an apology. It could be a gift for you, an offer of some sort for you. Yeah. I feel like they've been thinking about this a lot. I feel like this is a person who doesn't like to apologize. I mean, most people don't. You know, it's awkward. It's weird. And some, a lot of people don't like to admit they're wrong. But still, it could be a Capricorn. But again, I feel kind of like this person's been in their head a lot with the devil. I feel like this is like going around in a circle or having sometimes a bad attitude. Like, oh, no, I don't want to apologize. No, I don't want to say this to Aries. But um, I also get spying with that devil. Like he's trying to be slick. His eyes are covered. He doesn't want people to see him. He thinks people can't can't see him. But but um, you may know, you may feel this person has been watching you lately or checking up on you. Yeah, they may just have this like outburst. It's kind of getting, or they may like have this breakthrough. They may this may be their defenses that was under the deck, like lowering their defenses with the tower energy. I don't get this is going to be a tower for you. I think it's just a metaphor for like a breakthrough or sudden change. Um, someone's going to finally say or do something that might be kind of shocking. Yeah, Knight of Cups. I like this energy because I feel like this person is kind of like, screw it, you know, I got to say something. This person might be someone who, some, some certain signs are more like passionate. They put it out there and they speak their truths or they just don't really care if other people, what people think of them. I kind of feel like this might be a Sagittarius for some of you. I'm getting, it could be a Gemini or a Virgo too, and I don't know if they're normally like that, but I definitely get like, that might be why it's kind of a, a surprise or a shock because it is out of character for them 
to be this open. These cards fell out. Ace of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Swords. I guess someone wants to leave work early to come see you. I get somebody obviously wants to speak their truth. They want to let something go. They want to forgive. They want to move forward. They don't want to be stuck in the same old energy. You could be fighting with this person. Let's, let's go to a different deck. Did we pull from this deck? Yes, we did. Bright future. I don't know why. They're telling me to go again. What is the message for Aries? There's a lot of power around this full moon, around the around this eclipse energy. And it is drawing things out as I'm getting from people. Truths, secrets, things they need to say, things they, you know, have been hidden. Also, there's a lot of power to do something new with this energy as well and to see things very clearly. I'm getting you're going to have some sort of epiphany, understanding around this, this full moon. It could be during the day, but it could be very strong at night. When you see that full moon out, if you get to see it where you're at, really just kind of ask the universe what they want you to know. Okay, you don't have to be spiritual to do this. This is just, you know, the universe asking them to give you guidance or a message that's important. And just kind of listen. And it might just be like your intuition telling you something and follow it. So what else does Aries need to know about the situation with this person? Well, I know there's been a lot of reminiscing. Some of you hooked up with this person or some recently or, or in the past or there was either you, or that maybe they hooked up, maybe they cheated or someone cheated like at the office or I'm getting something about seduction, a one night stand. I don't know if this is you and them or something they did or you did or something that broke you guys up. But um, also I'm really smelling spaghetti. I mean, it's like six in the morning right now and I'm smelling spaghetti strong. I don't know if someone likes Italian food. You are Italian. You're making spaghetti. It smells really good. I'm on a diet right now, so that kind of pisses me off. But um, no, I smell spaghetti, big time. It's Monday morning, so I don't think anyone's making spaghetti around me. But okay, they want to talk. They want to tell you something about how they feel that when they're with you, that it's paradise, that they are in love with you, that there's a lot of love here, and they're hoping that you feel the same way. I feel like they're going to have, they haven't already had some sort of like epiphany. I get driving, I see someone driving and hearing a specific song on the radio or hearing someone on the radio that triggers them with the Cupid's arrow. I get like a shot to the heart. Oop, that just popped right out. And so they want to go deeper at the coffee cup and they have been looking. So again, okay, so this, these cards actually, because talking to me tells me it's a newer connection when you're just kind of talking, getting to know each other. But, um, like they want to go deeper. They want to go below the surface. Even if you've known this person for a long time, years, maybe it's always been kind of superficial. Co coffee cup tells me it's a deeper connection or they want to make it a deeper connection because it does say feeling uplifted, meeting and conversing, friendship, savoring the moment. So I'm sorry, my foot itches. I feel like this person is going to take a chance. They may see you as being a little, you know, out of their league or a little bit, um, they make, you make them nervous here, but it's kind of like, you know, like I said, screw it. Without you, I feel lonely. Their player ways are keeping them out of the cold or keeping them in the cold. Their player ways have always, they don't find true love with just dating around. And I get, I get being secretive too. So are they secretive with you? I feel like this person is making this Five of Swords decision to choose a new path, to do something different. I kind of feel like you got to grab this energy when it comes in. When this person, like you're not going to have another chance. This is like a once in a lifetime with this person and it's going to be around this eclipse. And they're going to tell you a lot. And it's almost like you got to nail it down that moment they say it and run, run with it. If you think too much, if you wait till the next day, that energy will be gone. That's just what I'm getting. Yep. That's what I'm getting. It's like they're going to change personalities all of a sudden. That's what I'm kind of feeling. Like they always saw that you guys could have been happy or they knew that they lost a chance with you or they could be in a relationship where they're unhappy, but I, there is death under here too. So it's kind of like... So I see a powerful revela revelation coming from this person to you. A lot of night energy though. Can be a lot of action, a lot of communication. Sometimes it does mean someone is immature when it comes up a lot, but um, I do have a king here, so that's good. Seeing something differently, seeing that there's love here. Hangman, two of cups, wanting to speak their truth. 
that's the truth that someone is going to speak. Now, again, <clears throat> they are making me aware that for some of you, this is a truth that will be spoken that maybe you won't be very receptive to. And spirit sees that and understands. But um, it's good for this person to reveal their true feelings is kind of what I'm getting. It's very healing for them as well. Or something like that is kind of what they're telling me. So let them down easy if you're not interested in this person. But I kind of feel like for a lot of you, you will. Because there's passion here. What else does Aries need to know? What else does Aries need to know? What else does Aries if anything need to know? There's love here with the locket, but there's been deception. Or you're worried about deception. There's a lot of talking or conversations, but you may come to a very happy agreement. See how there's three people here? And of course it shows two women and men, sorry. It may be a different scenario, but you know how there's a snake here? But this man is looking over this woman. This man has been tired of the deception in the relationship or the people they have been dealing with. They were dealing with players, people who weren't honest. They are seeing you, Aries, as being honest and pure. And um, so on one hand, I feel like, do they deserve you? What have they done? On the other hand, they see you as this honest, open, loving person. So I could see why you might be worried about them. What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say to you? Sometimes I feel like this deck should be called the excuses card because whenever I pull this deck, it's kind of like, what is their excuse for why they treated you that way? Sometimes the deck in here, there are cards that say that they are taking ownership and they are apologizing, but let's see what they're actually going to say. They're telling you you deserved much more than what they could give at the time. They weren't open to love. They felt like they deserved people like this, deception. They don't feel like they deserved you, Aries. So again, that shows me that, that you're... I don't want to say up on a pedestal, but like I'm seeing like the Empress card, the Nine of Coins card. Like they knew. And when I say out of their league, it's not like a, a money thing or a status thing. It's like they knew that you were more ascended. You were more loving. You you deserved better than them, honestly, because they were just going to screw you around. And possibly they did. What else? You accepted me for the good, the bad, and the ugly, and they couldn't accept themselves. Exactly. You saw this person's bad side, their good side, their flaws, but you said, hey, I love you anyways. We can work on this. And they're like, nah. So they went off with somebody like this, the snake card. That's what I'm saying is coming through. You have like a pure energy Aries, a pure soul, a loving soul. And this person knew that they were going to ruin you and taint you and that, that you didn't deserve that. Now, again, some of you did put up with some of this shit with them, but this is partly why I think they went the other way. They left you because they just didn't feel deserving. And I'll be honest, Aries, they probably weren't. So they weren't deserving of you. I regret my past mistakes and wish I could have another chance with you. And one more, please. Oh, they won too. Someone should have listened to their intuition is what they're saying. And, and I struggle with love and expressing it. It does not come easy for me. So again, that's why they have all these unspoken truths. And... Oh, wow, you might have your... You might be really blown away by what this person says. So I'm getting you, you really might. So I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.